Hi, in this video, I would like to show you how to customize your theme according to your preference using the theme options. From the dashboard, select theme options. And there are several settings available here. Let's take a look at header. Under the header settings, you will have several styles to choose from. You can pick different color. Uh, we can enable disable search features. You can make the header sticky, upload a new logo, upload a new favicon, and so on. The next settings you will look at is the banner settings. Uh, the banner settings you can see here the image you can upload. So you can look at the one on the right that can change once you save the setting you can see here different categories select different categories here that will be basically available um, the changes will be made to these four categories that you see on the right and you can say change different text here and so on for the top banner Next is the map settings. The map setting is basically when you go to the search result or a particular category. So different map styles can be changed, uh, can be selected. And once you save, it will reflect here on the right side. You see, you must integrate it with your map box token. So uh, in order for this to work. Next, we'll look at different list styles. So here you can see there are different uh, list view styles, one with map and without map uh, on the side. So based on your preference, you can just pick that. And you can also select the default grid or list view. The option will always be available here to switch between one or the other. And then you can look at the list submit settings. This is basically what you will get on your list submit page, listing submit page. Um, the low fidelity uh, wireframes that you see or the mockups is you see on the right you can replace uh, those from here and there are other settings such as disabling or enabling particular field um, or changing the text you can all do do it from right here so the form on the right that you see is fully customizable. Next, let's take a look at the payment settings. Here under the payment settings, you can um, decide whichever setting is valid for you. You can select that and make the changes. This is the general settings. When you click on payment settings, then there are individual settings that you need to select for PayPal, for Stripe, or whether it's a direct payment option. Next, we look at email management. Here you can um, edit the auto-generated emails for almost every uh, action or task this will auto generate and send email to the particular user or the admin such as if the listing has expired it can auto generate an email and inform the user about the expired listing Next, let's take a look at the invoice options. 
this is where you will where you will customize your auto generated invoice with your branding your company information and any additional message that you have add options here is where you will customize and um, define the ad promotion section that we will look look at right here from the dashboard ads start a new campaign this is what the user will see and you can customize all that right from here and there are several different settings that you can customize based on your needs how you want the ads to run and so on in this section you will fill out your contact details and uh, other necessary details for your form submission and this is uh, where you can enter the geolocation coordinates for your map this is the footer so you can enter the footer information and save the settings and you are all set with customizing your listing pro uh, directly from backend thank you for watching this video